to you all. Welcome to the stream. Jeff Bache here, all about that Bache. Um, joined with the Cardboard Warrior himself, Weeder, today. Um, about to do some GLC Versus, our Versus series, where we're going to be putting colorless Archeops to the test, playing against some of the best decks in the GLC format. Um, I'm going to be piloting Andre Costello's uh, colorless Archeops that won a couple weeks back. And Weeder, what are you going to be playing today? I'm going to be playing Subi's Lost Zone Psychic List. One of the very uh, one of the very best decks that GLC has. Yeah, that deck has been on a tear recently. The the Lost Zone deck. Uh, it's won a couple of local tournaments around me, and then I think uh, Mickey won a tournament recently. Um, playing it as well. So I mean that that deck has been kicking it and. Colorless Archaeops is considered to be the deck right now, so I'm really excited about this matchup. Um, anyway, let's talk about it. The reason why we kind of started doing this was, you know, every week you turn to the Discord channel and you see someone talking about banning this deck. Um, people hate this deck for whatever reason. Um, what, Weeder, what what's some of the ban talk and stuff that's going on here? Why, why do people hate playing against Archaeops? Mostly pellet. Well, I think the most the most vocal uh those most in favor of banning feel like uh, if you, if Archeops gets set up with the turn one lab, uh there's really not a lot the opposing decks can do. Your only choice is to gust it before it starts dumping energy on all the attackers. Uh the attackers are mostly basic and can be fully powered up in one turn with Archeops. So uh, if you're not gusting it while it's Archon, then you're probably in trouble. Yeah, this deck, just like you said, like the consistency of an early uh, Fossil Lab, just like Pokemon Research Lab, just seems to be there. Like you have Arvin, you have Guzman Hala now to search out that card pretty early on in the game get you straight into Arcan and then straight into Archeops, then all of a sudden you're attaching energy and attacking in before your opponent sets up. I will say that, like, again, I feel like most of my losses against this deck are not even when they get Archeops out. It's like they just have the best energy. Like, Colorless has the best energy. So when they can just attach a double Colorless or a, you know, triple acceleration energy and attack right away and a knockout one of your important Pokemon, sometimes you feel like whatever you did didn't matter. And so... You know, that's another thing this deck has going with us. It doesn't necessarily need its energy engine to just take prizes and win the game. So, another thing there. Yeah, that's a good point. With, uh, let's see, reversal energy coming out, Colorless will have, I believe they'll have six, two or three uh, energy cards, multi-energy cards that they can play. Yeah, and if you which look at wild. That, which is crazy, right? And if you look at like what grass has to do to, to jump into those hoops, you know, Venusaur, Rylaboom have to be. You got two stage twos basically doing the same thing uh, that uh, this deck can do all by itself. Um, well, cool. That's the band talk. What do you think about today's match, Weeder? What do you got? Do you, what do you think is going to happen? You got colorless, or you got a psychic loss zone going here? I think realistically, in a best of three, uh, I'm I'm about fifty fifty. I think uh, unless there's some really bad prizing, the lost zone deck stands a good chance. But uh, I I think it more will come down to prizing. But if I had to say over all the different uh, deck options. I think Lost Zone Psychic has the best matchup, so okay. I'm curious to see how it goes. Yeah, me too. All right, well, I got the colorless list on the screen. I'm going to talk through it real quick, and then we'll get 
Weeder talking about his psychic loss zone list. So the list is uh, pretty normal. It's got some changes. We're playing Andre Costello's list, like I mentioned earlier, against he recently 4 0'd one of the webcam tournaments a while back. Uh, so normal stuff going on here. You got your Archaeops, you got your Aerodactyl, your two fossil boys. The barrel, really important in this build to draw up to five in your hand. You have Revenge, Kangaskhan, you have the Ditto to reuse some of those basic attacks. The awesome Snorlax with its unfazed fat ability, which I think is going to be the most most important card in this matchup and then some new tech here in the form of Squovit which is a card that you look on the surface and you're not like overly impressed with it but its nest stash ability allows you to uh, shuffle your hand put it on the bottom so a Marnie effect and then you get to draw a card uh, which doesn't seem that great but when you pair it with the barrel you know you're looking at five new cards in a turn which can be really important and sometimes you're putting some of those important energies back into your deck to search back up with Archaeops or even better you're putting your fossil boys back in the deck for your Pokemon Research Lab, which is something I ended up doing this morning. Um, besides that, you know, the trainer slew is more or less the same. Pokemon Communication is pretty sweet in this deck because it lets you again put Arkin back in the deck if you're going to search it out with Pokemon Research Lab. Arvin, Guzman, Hala, two ways to get out your stadiums, and then just a slew of the best energy you have to offer. Uh, warp energy, counter energy, draw energy, gift energy, so many good energies in this deck. It's just absurd. Um, anyway, that's basically the deck. Um, Alright, cool. You want to talk us through your deck right now, Weeder? Yeah, so like I mentioned, Suvi's the first one to bring this deck to, uh, to the top. He won the season two competition and tournament with it and it was definitely the best deck of the season the deck is very good at getting cards into the lost zone so sableye uh can get online turn three four probably and uh, it's, this deck is also very good at looping it looping sableye it's just one energy to attack and there are a lot of tools to get it back from the discard pile like uh, Rescue Stretcher, Rescue Carrier, and Clara. Those can all get it back in directly into hand. Uh, it also, this deck also has some of the best support Pokemon that you could ask for. It's got Chimeco, uh, which hopefully will stall you today. It's got the Bell of Silence attack that doesn't let the opponent play any Pokemon with an ability next turn. It has uh, Meowstic, which can search out two supporters directly to hand. And the net, which will put itself in the Lost Zone uh, and get a supporter back from the discard pile. So there are a lot of ways to find Colorus, and there are uh, some good options for stalling the opponent while trying to fill up the Lost Zone. Yeah, the stick is sweet. Um... Again, I'm used to used to playing against this deck quite a bit. I think I have an older version on the screen here um, than you because the Meowstic isn't in the list. But this list is sweet. Like the it's got the turn one Marshadow that so often puts decks on the back hill after the deck has kind of set itself up. Um, the Mewtwo to get back supporters. It's just got so many ways to recur things. And as an opponent, you just think that Sableye is gone, and then all of a sudden it's just smacking you in the face again. So, it's a sweet deck. I'm excited. I'm excited for this matchup. Those of you who are watching in chat, love to see some prediction. What do you think is going to happen? You think, out of our best of three, is it going to be Psychic Glass Zone, or is it going to be Colorless Archaeops? My vote is going to be Colorless Archaeops. It's, I feel like it has a favorable matchup, but I have lost so many times to the Lost Zone deck. I do not even know. I think another interesting discussion point, since people bring up the band so often, um... It's interesting to your idea to throw a bunch of decks at Archaeops uh, without having the best player of each of those decks or the uh, originator of those decks playing them because I think it's more representative of how uh, strong the deck is when you don't need the you know the best pilot in the world to play it just to see how it does. Yeah, and those of you who watch my stream, you know I am not the best pilot. We will get me either, soon. so we're, we're we're even on that one.
you know, I was really excited, Weeder, when I when I asked you because we had just both four would that tournament, and I was like, oh sweet, we'll be like, you know, we'll have a lot of street cred going up, and then we'll <laughs> we'll, we'll do that, and then we both finished last place, like ninth and tenth place <laughs> in the next tournament. I was like, ooh, not looking so good. That, that wasn't my week. That was a that was a rough one. <laughs> Uh, that was a week where I, I couldn't pick a deck, and there was just a lightning deck sitting here, and I was like, you know what? Let's try it out. I immediately regretted it, but still a fun time. Those webcam tournaments are awesome. Those of you who are watching, if you haven't checked out the Cardboard Warriors, uh, what's the word? The Cardboard Warriors tournaments on Wednesdays and Saturdays, check them out. They're a good time. Sometimes lots my, of fun to be had. Sometimes my old bones don't want me to stay up that late, though. I know, and afterwards I'm wired. I have trouble falling asleep. I feel like I'm getting way up there in these days. Uh, so, Weeder, I think that we should probably let Psychic Glosson go first, um, just just so I can get turn one Marshadow, then get that out of the way, and then on game two I'll go first, and then game three we'll roll a die to see what it, what it boils down to. Sounds good. I hope we have a game three. I hope so too. All right. Uh, I feel like so. So Marcus is saying no coin flip. I feel like when when we're when you're testing a deck, it's best to just do you know one time on the play, one time on the draw. Um, so we we're not going to do any coin flip. Let's just start off with him going first. Uh, we're going to mulligan. Just got the arc in here. Let's I'll see. definitely take a mulligan. Give me a few more. That'd be great. All right. Just another. Some more cards for you to use before you marsh out of me. I know it's coming. The deck only has 46 ways to search it up. You know, the the only thing I don't like about this deck is there's no uh, there's no prize search beyond Isui and Heavy Ball. So I feel like if uh, Colrus, Colrus's experiment gets prized, it could be kind of rough. But we'll see. Just... Just get good and don't prize it, I guess. Yeah, right. That's the that's the best best thing you can do. All right. Oh, another mulligan. Sad. Uh, right. You know, my, again, my friend plays that deck a lot, so I, I get to play against that deck all the time. Um, I think that even when he prizes Colrus Experiment, he just has like so many other ways. I'm just always impressed with that deck's ability to kind of pivot. Now, if Colrus uh, Sableye and Comfy are prized. I feel pretty confident that uh, <laughs> that we'll be winning. But uh, beyond that, just lost vacuum, lost blender, uh, Comfy. So many cars that put stuff in the loss zone. Yeah, and there are some cheeky attackers too. I mean, Gengar can take some knockouts. Oh yeah. Three prize turn with uh, Lacephalon. There's some. There's some other options for sure. That Gengar, I think, is kind of the glue that holds that deck together. So, all right, we got a basic. All right. Just, just I the two take, free cards. Take the two mulligans. We don't have any fancy mirrors to show our prizes like they do on stream over there. <laughs> all right, you ready? All right. Good luck. We got the Snorlax, guys. We did it. Oh, the perfect start. Okay, this is going to be rough. All right, I'm starting Blacephalon, draw for turn. That's a good top deck into Comfy. Ooh. I will quick ball away my Gengar, which is a nice start. That's pretty good, too. Check my prizes here. Yeah, comfy. I don't think I need to get Chimeco out this turn because Archaeops... Well, you started Snorlax for one. Uh, you started Snorlax, and Archaeops is at least turn two. So I think I can wait one turn. Yeah. Looks like I have prized Colrus after talking about it. Ooh, sad. I, again, I still think your deck will, can get there. That, that Comfy, I think, is going to be key. Yes, that's true. So I will... I'm not going to play down Marshadow yet, but I will... Grab it off of the quick ball. Hey, Carp, thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. All right, there's the Marshadow that we were worried about. All right, so I'm going to scoop up net. 
the Blacephalon, put it into my hand and promote Comfy. I don't really have many playable cards at this point, despite my large hand size. I will bench Blacephalon again and uh, I don't know if I'm ready to pull back Gengar yet. You don't even have a bench. Just the Snorlax. But it's not bad to actually play an energy while I've got it in hand. So I will pull it back, put 30 damage on it, and, well, actually the Snorlax is invulnerable. So maybe that was a misplay. But, uh, uh, yeah, feel, feel free to take it back. This is we're we're playing optimally. So I th I think yeah, unfazed fat here, not allowing the damage counters to be placed on it is pretty interesting. But there definitely will be other targets at some point in the game. Yeah, we'll we'll leave it on there uh, just in case. And then I'm gonna go ahead and attach to comfy, so I've got a retreat option in the future, and play down Marshadow and let loose. All right, we are getting let loose here. Again, I know that I know that the psychic decks are built to do this, but it just feels like every every single game, I I start with four hands against the psychic Lawson deck. Psychic gets access to fog crystal and mysterious treasures, so it has so many ways to find it. Turn one, which is why it's so strong, in my opinion. All right, hoping for. I mean, it was good. I saved my flower selecting until after the Marshadow. So I could build up my hand size. I've got the Nest Ball, which I will go ahead and play. <coughs> so my guess is asking, nice. what does your deck have to deal with the Snorlax? So the best tools for dealing with Snorlax are Hexmaniac, Spell tag and bursting balloon. So, yeah, the Those are really the only options. Yeah, the bursting balloon is pretty rough. We're hoping to get a fighting fury belt attached to the Snorlax at some point too to help with with those. Yeah, once you uh, make it so big, it's tough to take down. So I went ahead and benched Chimeco for next turn. Okay. Hope to get it in there and stall a little bit, but for now I don't see a donk coming, so probably leave uh, uh, Comfy active. I'm going to flower select to start building up the Lost Zone, and I will put Professor's Letter into the Lost Zone. And at this point I will just pass to you. All right. Cool. We get to take some game actions here. Well, there's Fighting Fury Belt. That's definitely where it goes. Um, go ahead and Trainer's Mail here. Um, not great here. Um, not a great selection of cards. I think I want to show you Chorus. Which is not one I wanted to show you. There was also Parallel City in there. I considered it for a second, but just a, you know, giving you the chance to, to discard your Gengar. Although I guess there's maybe some merit in that. But I think just I could dump I could dump Mar Shadow and then re recover it. I think it's probably a good idea to yeah uh, hold off. I agree. Your deck really only need like once once it gets going, Parallel City gets so much worse because like. It's just recurring Sableye every turn once you get 10 cards in the Lost Zone. So, like, Feral City does not seem super great. Can be great, but not super great. Um, probably should have held off on Shuffling, but we're going to go ahead and level ball here. I think, oddly enough, I think we want to get Bidoof. I think we want to start setting up our draw engine. Um, let's really, it's between Bidoof or Sinchino here. We also have the Ditto as options. I put mail back in the deck is what someone's saying. Thanks. We definitely did. Good eye in the chat there. Right, keeping me honest. 
after all that talk of cheating this last week. <laughs> all right. And play the Bidoof. Um, I think we just Colrus for five here. Not terrible. Gives you a chance to find the, the lab. It does give us a chance to find the lab. That's what we love. We got two looks at it here with Stadium Nav or getting the lab itself. Um, I'm not sure if it matters too much if we miss out on it this turn. We'd love to start getting the Snorlax going, to be honest. So getting some energy would be great. All right, there's our five. Well, not quite. Not quite. We did get the twin energy here, so go ahead and attach twin energy, and we will pass the turn. Okay, so this game seems playable. Uh, draw for turn. Uh, so twin you could be attacking next turn. We'll play trainer's mail. Hit the top four. That was an interesting top four. I will take Ultra Ball and shuffle back up before flower selecting. Let's see. Actually got a nice run out here to stall this game a little bit. Okay. So let's see how it goes. Yeah, Chimeco seems Pretty good. Pretty good. Here. Yep, and that is where I'm headed. I will flower selecting first. Um, it. I can't put Clara in the Lost Zone. That seems risky, so I will put more energy in the Lost Zone. Which Clara is basically the best card in this deck to me. So I agree. Such a good card. Clara is really good. Also, energy. You only play six energy, so I'm, I'm happy with seeing that as well. <laughs> um, yeah, so I will attach to Chimeco and go ahead and escape rope. All right, we'll put out Bidoof. Now, I, this is the part of me where I'm not... I'm not the best pilot at this. I could play Bursting Balloon onto Chimeco. Your deck plays like a million outs to switch. Mm -hmm. So the odds of you having energy and switch next turn are not that low. So I think I think for now though, I'm just gonna I've got some recovery. I think I'll just bell of silence. Cool. Or we'll take ten. damage. Which is sad. Which is sad. All right, well, not the worst draw here. We're sitting with a lot of good cards in our hand, and <laughs> it's kind of tough because um, we can be a little risky with what we want to do, or we can kind of play it safe, I think. So, you know, I have... And we're going to be a little bit more transparent since we're kind of testing what we're doing here with, with you guys in chat and with each other as we play. So I'm sitting here with Guzma and Hall in hand. So we have access to energy and we have access to the stadium. I think I need to get rid of that Chimeco. Um, I'm not sure like how I should prioritize this because it's just going to let you put your comfy up. Um, you know... We don't want our bench to get too big. We don't want our guys to get kind of smoked. Um, and then I've got a good follow-up for next turn. If um, So we can't Fossil Lab, right, and, and attack this turn, which is part of the problem. Hmm, this is tough. Weeder, any thoughts on any of this? It is tough. Should I be prioritizing I mean, the Chimeco, like killing the Chimeco, or should I just be prioritizing setting up at this point? Because I guess I, I mean, if you have a way to get into B 
Bibarel next turn. That seems pretty good. Knocking out the Chimeco. He, he's in, in hand. Combination. <laughs> he's in okay. hand. Um, what are then these... you also have the consideration of setting up for the long game, but I think yeah, so going for Phoenix, the lab seems fine. Phoenix is kind of saying the same stuff too. Goose Hala for float and energy in lab just in case. Um, so I think that's what I do want to do. We also have a Winona here in hand. Um, yeah, so I think we do that. Um, sad to see. I don't think we've searched our deck. Uh, we're going to give someone a Hala. I think we're going to get rid of Bird Keeper and Unidentified Fossil. Earlier when I was checking my deck, I don't even know if I checked to see if there was a Research Lab, but there is a Research Lab. I guess we could also grab Capture Energy. Seems good. We get our Scovit going. If we get Barrel going next turn. Um... And then do we have a float stone? Yeah, there's our float stone. Uh, so the other two cards in my hand um, are Winona and Bibarel Phoenix. So I get keeping the Bird Keeper. It seems great, but I think Winona is going to let me grab like my Archaeops and a couple of other Mons later on. Um, plus with like Scovit and Bibarel going, I think we'll be fine. All right. So float stone, capture energy. Uh, we'll play the lab, and then let's go capture energy. Search in. I think we are going to get the scovit for next turn. So I'm going to put this stream in the tricky gym Discord. See if we can get any cool. traction there. Keeping the bird keeper lets you Snorlax again. Could lose the Winona. Okay. Phoenix, I'm going to trust you on this one. We're going to, instead of discarding the Bird Keeper, we're going to discard the Winona. Alright. So there's the Winona in our discard bin. Let's retreat. Oh, it's double sleep, or double heads here is, is a skill issue. Obviously, we're going to get it. <laughs> um, yeah, we're going to attack in. I think we're going to wait to Research Lab next turn. Um, you know, and if, if it stays asleep, though, you can lab, so it's not that big of a if deal. If it stays asleep, um, we, we ended up keeping Bird Keeper in our hand instead of Winona, though, so we have an, an opportunity to, to get it going. So, unfaced fat, take a prize, kill Chime Cho, and then we will... Let's... All right, he is still asleep, sadly. All right, draw for turn. All right, since you're attacking... Changes up some plans. I'm going to flower select. And I will put fog crystal into the boss zone. But shup it onto the bench, which is nice with colors prized. And then I will Clara back the Chimeco and the energy. Okay. Lay down both. And then hard retreat. The Comfy into Chimeco. I want to stall as long as possible. Seems fair. And I think by attaching the Bursting Balloon, it makes you decide between using the lab or... I mean, I, I think it probably makes using the lab a good idea next time, which is still stalling for me, so that might be okay. So I'm going to Bell of Silence. Yep, so like for, stakes 10. Yeah. All right, uh, and of course, we're going to use our pro move here. We're going to get that double heads. I can feel it. <laughs> uh, uh, sadly, we do not. All right. Well, so let's... Bird Keeper, I think, is really the only option available to us. Put out the Bidoof and draw three cards. All right. We have a... Tornadus, which is a pretty sweet card in this deck. Air Slash ability lets it uh, use Flyminium. Flyminium. It's a weird tool to say. It lets it do a GX attack for like 180. Um, really cool in this build. Um, let's see. Bursting Balloon does 8 in any combination, or just 8 to the active? It does six, uh, 60 damage, or 6 damage counters to the attacking Pokemon. Okay. I think that we can 
deal with that. I think we're okay with Snorlax getting those six damage counters. Um, because really, without Hex Maniac, you can't really damage my Snorlax too much. And we have the Fighting Fury Bell attached to it. We'll be up on two prizes, which I know isn't a ton against your deck, because it just keeps coming back. Um, but I, I think I'm okay with this. So let's go ahead and retreat Bidoof, put out my Snorlax, and let's um, unface Fat again. Or Thumping Snore. Oh, I think I just realized you benched Squovit, but you were under uh, the Bell of Silence. Uh, that was the turn before, right? With Capture Energy? Oh, that's my bad. Okay. I think, I think so, right? right? You're Th probably right. This All turn right, so I did Tornado. Yeah, and we're going to knock you out. All right, I'm going back into Comfy. Cool, and we're going to Draw take... for turn. Uh, and obviously we're going to roll the double... Uh, or we're going to read roll because I forgot which dice they were. I think uh, that was sad. 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 Okay. All right, my hand's not great. Uh, I'm in a flower select. Interesting. Uh, I will take. I'm not sure what I can get off of. I have the choice between Air Balloon and Skyla. Air Balloon feels very good right now. Mm -hmm. Skyla, I think I'd rather use a different supporter this turn. So I'm up to four in the Lost Zone. Air Balloon on the Comfy. Uh, although I can't attach anymore. That is bad. So the Tornadus has a one retreat cost, is that correct? It has one retreat cost, yep. That's not good. And you've got, how big is your hand? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six cards currently. Oh, yikes. Okay. I want to get into Bennett so I can put get Clara back and get more in the Lost Zone, but... Uh... Oh, okay. Well, actually, I'm just going to go this route. I will retreat. I'm going to... Okay, so I'm, the, my dilemma is I, I want to have a three-price turn with Blacephalon, but I don't see a route to getting there. I could use Bleh to get rid of the twin um, and hope you don't have a double attachment. That seems like my best play, honestly. Yes, I think that uh, that Shuppet, the discard of special energy one, might be the best one right now. I know that some people are big on the uh, the item lock one, but that card has ruined me. That Shuppet right there has ruined me so many times. It ha Yeah, it has its, uh, its good use cases. So I'm going to roll the dice here and go with the bleh, get rid of the twin energy, and hope you don't have follow-up. Cool. Well, we gotta, first we got to hope that Snorlax wakes up. Uh, and it does not, which is set. All right, so let's draw for turn. Um, well, oh, that won't yes. work. Darmacus is right. Okay, right. well, he's asleep, so uh, no damage. No damage, okay. All right. Do you want to take back all of that? We're trying to do the, the best that we can. Does no, that that's change okay. It? Okay. I think that's a realistic portrayal of... Uh, how complicated this uh, deck is. Cool. Uh, Noah, we are not throwing everything against Archaeops today. Today we are just doing uh, Psychic Lost Zone. Next week we'll do something different. Probably water. I'll probably play water against what, whatever colorless list um, Weeder decides. Uh, well, hey, we can evolve into the barrel here, which is pretty sweet. Um... So, like this is where we're in. We get to use Scovit's ability, which is just awesome. The sad part is if we Scovit and then Barrel, there's a chance that we draw what we need to with the research. Um, like what we need to get out of our deck with the research, which also seems sad. Um, how many cards do you have in hand, Weeder? 
I've got three. Three. Okay. Um, so part of me just wants to to research. I know that gives you another chance to to get your law zone stuff going. You got three cards in hand. You're gonna get a chance to flower select potentially, which means you'll have to discard an energy off your Shuppet. Um, and you've already used Clara. So I don't know if we'll be like 100% behind. I would like to use my turn to do stuff, but I think just researching is better at this point in the game. Um, we could always like find an escape rope too, right? We could find an escape rope and be attacking. Um, of course, that would, you know, I know it's in the deck, but yeah, I, th I still think it's right to just research here. So we'll re we'll research. Um, there's our arc in. Let's see if we got our Aerodactyl here. Aerodactyl's pretty sweet as well. Uh, and that will end our turn. We'll roll the die. Uh, and he is still asleep. Double heads right. is brutal. <laughs> There's still a little hope after that horrendous misplay, so I will draw for turn. You, the, the other good part about your deck is that nothing has a high retreat cost. You say so, that, but Snorlax is sitting here with four being like, come at me, bro. <laughs> uh, he also wants to attack, so... That's fair. He wants to be active. He's always asleep, though. And with all this being said, is Snorlax a cat or a bear? What is Snorlax? I'm very confused about his whole his whole deal. He's a hungry boy. That's true I'm too. going to Ultra Ball away Guzma and Echoing Horn. All right. So this will grab my bonnet. I was going to say this will get you up to seven in the Lost Zone. Plus, you got flower selecting as an eight so i'm at i'm at four right now but that would be six uh because the, does the, the, the energy goes too right it's all cards attached no you discard the attached cards ah okay so now last card in hand i will in okay hope to get you know, if that energy was on Blacephalon right now, I'd actually be in good shape. But I have, if I can find an attachment this turn, I'll be okay. We definitely want to get rid of that Blacephalon. We know that that three prize turn is coming. If I was able to find a Chimeco play here, it would be nice, but I also need Hex. Uh, yeah, Hex. Need to get into Hex. Hex for the Snorlax would be good. Your Gengar is looking pretty good since I got five benched right now. All right, so I've got all six cards. I'm going to play Hisui and Heavy Ball. I don't think I have anything in here. I do not. That's some pretty good cards in the prizes, though. We know one of them is Colrus Experiment. That's the best one. You're still also getting there, though. Also, my Seeker. Oh, verse, verse Seeker is pretty brutal. Uh, you yeah. drew, we drew us in some pretty good cards as well over here. We were very very content with our hand at the present. Alright, good to know. Maybe I can find a... No, I can't find a way into Mars Shadow again. I will uh, level ball. Need to get Meow Stick on, <laughs> onto the bench eventually, so I'll get Esper... Yeah. Yeah, without Verse Seeker, Meowstick seems pretty good. Yeah, that will help me find the hex that I need for the three prize turn if I can swing it. Oh, there goes my hand. Okay. I will get some energy back. I believe I have two in the discard. Play energy retrieval for two energies, attaching one to Lacephalon. Then I will uh, play Pokestop down, getting rid of the research lab. All right. 
and uh, I'll play Bicycle for two cards. Okay. Watu is saying Surge would be good in LZ Psychic. It it does seem pretty good, but it's often a dead card, which logs up the hand, makes Bicycle worse. Yeah. Um, that, that deck but relies... if you had a Surge... If you had a surge plus meowstic turn, that would be pretty pretty nice. That would be pretty nice. And I'm going to lost vacuum away mysterious treasure into the lost zone, and I will get rid of getting rid of the float stone. Doesn't seem like it matters a ton. I think the Fury Belt's probably the best bet. Cool. It is in the Lost Zone. Right. Then I will... What am I looking for off Pokestop? I don't think I can really help my hand off the Pokestop this turn, actually. Um, so I'm just going to blow up the net. It in the Lost Zone to get to 7. Get a seven damage counter here and promote comfy and flower select. We'll put trekking shoes there. So I'm almost, I've almost gotten there. The, the deck does its thing, man, even without Coalish Experiment. It just, it always gets there. It can just control the board and then wait till it gets there. And then when it does, we haven't even seen Sableye yet. And we know you didn't hit it off the, the heavy ball. So we know it's in your deck somewhere. Yeah, so with that said, I will retreat into Marsh Shadow and hope you don't gust me. Uh, we will 100% gust you. Um, we're going to start with a Parallel City. All right, I'll ditch the game car. And then we are going to Guzma up your Blacephalon and our Bibarel with the Floatstone attached. Um, is there anything I really want here? Um, I think we might want to save our supporter. So we're going to scove it to shuffle our hand and put a card on the bottom or put all the cards on the bottom and then draw a card and then we are going to barrel up to five one two three four five uh, then we're going to evolution incense go get the most feared card in oh the boy. format Archeops it's not looking good uh, while we're in here, we'll go ahead and use Archeops' ability. I think we just maybe put some stuff on this Aerodactyl. Aerodactyl gets a survive attack from your Sableye, so it seems ideal. We'll put a... Where's the Turbo Energy at? The Turbo Energy and Gift Energy on the Aerodactyl off of the Archeops ability. I mean, at this point, do I just retreat into Aerodactyl and just Aerodactyl so I can just attack every turn? And then just keep Snorlax as a another attacker at some point? I think that's... Not my, a bad idea. Yeah, I think that's the way to go. Um, and we still have an attachment for turn? This is ridiculous. What are we doing over here? Uh, we'll put a counter energy on the barrel. We're going to retreat into Aerodactyl, and then we'll take the knockout with Aerodactyl. All right, that's looking dire. Let's see. Draw for turn. Oh, that's a nice card. Uh, that's a nice top deck. I will flower select and hope I find Blender. No Blender. I can't have no out to draw more cards this turn. Oh, actually, you know what? In the interest of doing things optimally, 
I forgot I had Mewtwo. So let me uh, undo the flower selecting. Going to put spell tag onto... Well, first I'll bench Sableye, attach an energy. Mm -hmm. Put a spell tag onto Sableye. Play so, down Mewtwo, so last card in my hand. Uh, Parallel City. Parallel City. Parallel City. Jeez. Okay. Does that change how you do things? There goes that play. Well. You could always, I mean, <clears throat> you could save the Sableye, right? I could, but I was going to end so I could draw some cards. I'm basically out of cards. Okay. Um, I can't really stall you. Because you have Archeops out. Yeah, we got Archeops, we got Snorlax, we got Tornadus will be attacking uh, next turn if Archeops stays. You know, Aerodactyl is still attacking, doing its thing. Wado was saying that you missed Pokestop last turn, but uh, Weeder decided that he there was no benefit in Pokestopping because there was no way that his hand would get optimally better and he might put an important piece into his graveyard or his discard. Yeah, I could have searched for Blender, but um, that was such a low chance for hitting. No, yeah, Watto is saying I thought he wanted Blender, so yeah. Percentage-wise, it's hard. It's hard to tell what he would have hit, what he wouldn't have hit. With Claragon, a definitely argument for not Pokestopping. So, this is unlucky. I have to get rid of the Hex. I, uh, I played Mewtwo uh, to get my end back from the Mewtwo. I can't play down can't play down anything, so I will just end. Fortunately, you've got your whole setup going. So I, I think it's scoop territory. I think, yeah, I think we're getting close to the Archeops deck is in prime position. You don't really have any atta attackers set up. Um, you know, you, you can't really kill much on my side of the field. Like, you can kill Barrel. You, you're killing one thing a turn, and then I'm down to three prizes. So this does not look like a uh, a likely win for you. Yeah, so I actually got the blender. Okay. Um, but I have to get rid of good cards. Peony can go. Rescue Carrier has to go, otherwise I have no chance damage-wise. Uh, but I still can't get Sableye down, so I'll just I'm gonna scoop because too far behind at this point. Yeah, I mean, that's that's the power of the the Archeops deck. It just. It just did its thing. We didn't see Archeops till turn five or six. Could Gengar have gotten the KO on Snorlax? Um, so Gengar's attack has no effect on Snorlax because of its unfazed fat ability. Or, yeah, unfazed fat ability. So, yeah. So sadly, Gengar could not do much in there. Yeah, and, uh, so under parallel too. So the turn that I could have Pokestopped for Blender, I had Sableye... Energy and Mewtwo in hand, and that was my entire hand. So if I Poke Stop Your. and hit Blender, I basically would have had to loss zone something critical. Yeah, you're. But you're maybe just... that was the only actual win condition. I don't know. Yeah, I mean that that would have been rough because. Yeah, I mean I I don't see how your your position gets better either way because you're either losing a key piece to to what you need to do. Um, to draw a random card, but you're, you're getting there. The Parallel City was well-timed. I think I, I drew it. Yeah, that, appropriate that time. actually, that may have uh, been the final nail in the coffin. I could have, turns out, I could have Sableye if not for that parallel. Yeah, the fact that you had to choose between putting down the Mewtwo and, uh, and the Sableye, I think, was just like really, really important. You'd vacuum your own car, you wouldn't have needed... Blender? You're talking about the turn that he lost yeah, vacuum to my Fighting Fury Belt instead of his own Pokestop? That's true. <laughs> That's yeah. true, and Kaling Snorlax is probably never the win condition, so maybe that was an optimal play. Yeah, because you, you had already ditched Hex Maniac, right? 
So you really uh, haven't... I still had it at that chance. That was a couple turns previous. Okay. That was, like, further back in the game. Four here. 